Howdy folks. So uh, a package just arrived for me in the mail and uh, it's this. This was in a big box full of packing peanuts because what's in here is quite fragile. Um, I have a lot of sign stuff and posters all over my walls and one of the things that's kind of missing from that is any kind of really like tech stuff. So I went on eBay and I purchased a set of eight silicon wafers. Uh, basically these are the six inch wafers they manufacture semiconductor dies on. Uh, these are all defective and they're all quite old. They're all from about the 1990s. Um, three of which I know what they are. The rest are pretty much the seller just said he just include random ones. So uh, we'll, we'll find out what they look like. Hopefully they're not damaged. I have yet to open this, so I'm doing this on camera. Silicon wafers, I think uh, once they've been etched, they look quite pretty. So I may frame them or something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'll try and get these under my microscope and see if I can uh, I can see any markings on them because these are old enough that they're not going to be you know ridiculously small feature size so they're in a bag now they're still quite cold because they've been outside and it's wintry okay set of eight sorry I'm sniffling a little bit I just got inside okay yeah, you can see the discoloration around the edge of this one. Now this one, my guess, actually I can't, I can't say for sure what this one is off the top of my head. It's the first time I'm seeing these. Okay, they're separated with paper, which is nice. Unfortunately, I don't want to get, I don't want to get fingerprints on these. I should uh, I should get a I should get a pair of gloves actually let me let me go get a pair of gloves and I'll be uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just got some uh, latex gloves. I know this is not technically correct, but I mean these are never going to get used. They've got scratches along the corners and stuff. So uh, I just don't I just don't really don't want fingerprints because cleaning this is not going to be super fun. That's all. Well, the first thing that strikes me uh, is how thin they are. I was uh, I was actually not expecting them to be that thin. I was expecting them to, be to them to be about double the thickness. I've just I've never held a wafer before. I've only seen pictures, so that that's the first thing that strikes me. Of course, there's nothing on the back. Cracking one of these now would be uh, pretty bad. So this one. Um, I'm just trying to cross-reference these with what I know. This one I also don't know off the top of my head what this is. I want to do some close-up shots and uh, I can probably guess just by the structure as to what these are. Some of these will be memory, some of these will be processors, um, some of these will be ASICs. Um, there's a bunch of different different kinds and you can see they, they look quite nice in the light. They should all be different. This one is quite interesting. The dies are very, very small. I happen to have two in my hand, unfortunately. They're a little bit stuck together. Yeah, the die on the die on the dies on this one are incredibly small. But it's a nice different. It's a nice different color. Now this one, uh, this one I do know what this one is. Uh, this is a, a Texas Instruments T twenty eight F ten. It's a it's a one megabit flash memory chip. I'll I'll, I'll get close ups of these uh, later on. I just want to. Uh, go through them all now. 
these are pretty massive dies here. Um, and this one, I also know what this is. Uh, this is a Gatefield Pro ASIC. So this is an, this is an ASIC. Um, quite large. So I'm not entirely sure what these would have done would have done. I'm gonna see if I can find any manufacturer markings on these and see if I can um, find out exactly what some of these are. Because uh, like I said, I only know what three of them are. And for that one, for example, I only know who made it. And the, the parts, like the model series, I don't know the exact part number and what it did, what it was used in, that kind of thing. This one. Hmm. I don't know what this one is either off the top of my head. This one looks like it could be microcontroller maybe, something like that. And this one, very similar size die. Difficult to uh, pick up off the table. See, they, they do have numbers on them, so uh, I will I, I will have at least something to look f off of them. Although I don't think they uh, they'll probably just contain what batch they were in. I don't think they'll contain any data as to what's actually on them. And again, another chip uh, that's this this wafers. So they seem to come in two colors, the gold and the more silver. Now that I'm looking at it, um, I may have missed... There was one that I was supposed to receive, which was a, uh, a TI microcontroller. And the dies were larger than these. I'm just, I'm, I'm basically, I'm just looking at photos and I'm trying to cross-reference the three photos I have with the dies to see if I can figure out uh, which one that is because like I said I know three of them it's definitely not this one and I know this one yes I know this is the most boring unboxing ever it's not this one This one might be something really, really simple like an op amp or logic gate or because the dies are incredibly small in this one. So this this is very low low amount of logic. If it even is logic, it could be an analog die, I don't really know. So my guess is this is the this would be the Texas Instruments uh, TMS 370 microcontroller. Uh, actually, no, sorry, this would be a microprocessor, not a microcontroller. I don't think it has any memory in it because that that looks to be the right die. And then this last one, which is quite a bit different. This could be a microcontroller. It has something that could be memory. I'm going to try and get some close-up high-resolution shots of these. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that yet because I don't have a metallurgical microscope where the light comes from the top. I only have one where it comes up from the bottom. It's a biological microscope and it's really quite useless um, for stuff like this. And of course it doesn't have um, it doesn't have a way for me to put a camera in it. And I've been able to hook up my phone camera um, by basically just sort of aligning it perfectly and taking a photograph. Um, the optics seem to work with a phone camera, but they don't seem to work with uh, my, my good camera, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do do that, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll find a way, and uh, you'll probably see another video about these later on uh, where I, I do more detailed analysis of them. This was just a, a quick unboxing, just to see what I had. So yeah, look, look forward to a, a more interesting video about going through the dies. I'll try and figure out 
what all the parts of the dies are, but uh, I'm in a bit of a rush, so uh, not today. Anyway, hopefully this was interesting. Thanks for watching.